Hello, alright everyone here for more Nameless. Yuri has arrived to buy our clothes. <laughs> Yuri entered grumbling. <laughs> Before I could say, even say hi, he disappeared from my sight. I like the sound effect that played, it was just like, Rip. Yuri approached the sales girl with lightning speed. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> this boy. Oh, whoops. Ah, Yuri's at it again. It's gonna get tiresome soon, so I should have him pay fast and get out of here. Yuri, give me your wallet. I got a hold of Yuri, who was about to ride unicorns in his fa <laughs> what <laughs> in his fantasy world, and took his wallet. Ride unicorns in his fantasy world, huh? The place got hectic because of Yuri, but thanks to Lance, but but thanks to Lance, but Buzzkill, we we got out of the store safely. Yep, that's what that's what I thought. Just a few more ah! click. Hey, you get boy ah! <laughs> You okay, Yuri? <laughs> I don't know, because I don't think I would want want to end the episode with with all this this sun drama going on. You're always crying out loud with both <laughs> both his hands full of receipts. I remember hearing something like that this morning. Must be deja vu. All the rest of the boys ignored Yuri and sat down in the living room to drink the tea Yanho made. Whew, this is good. Hey, you bought this Oh, man. Oh, my God. So, <laughs> I suddenly thought of something that gave me goosebumps. Picturing a muscular chick, I immediately shook my head. <laughs> no, please not that. N no. If that happens, the whole Kroby Academy will be mourning. <laughs> the whole school will be wailing. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Yuri tore up the receipts and yelled, and went to his room slamming the door. He must be really mad. <laughs> Tay said in a relaxed way. Seeing him know Yuri so well, I felt as if Tay was the actual master of the house. <laughs> Tay is kind of scary. <laughs> That's true. Most of the shopping bags covering the living room belongs to Yuri. Well, I guess since he bought them with his own money. Oh, Yanho, what did you get? You got a lot. Good, good. Stroked his head and he smiled. Then I should get get going and think of and think for all the things that happened today. 
As soon as I came into my room, I sat at my desk and opened my diary. I write in my diary every day, but for some reason, words didn't really come out today. My pencil stopped at one point, because I remembered Lance holding onto my arms at the department store earlier today. I have no idea how to write how to write down what I felt at that moment. I kept on thinking about Lance, who sat by me at the rest, at the rest area, and can you continue to think about his eyes and face. At the moments when his cold face showed shows tiny hints of emotions repeat in my head. I touched a part of my wrist Lance held on to. The warmth had disappeared, but I feel like I can feel it. I closed my eyes and recall the moment. Ah, my smartphone suddenly rang. It's from Lance. Thank you for choosing my clothes. Nyaw. Felt touched that Lance sent me a text first. You know, I don't want to speak too soon, but I'm pretty sure I've made all the right decisions so far, and for once, I'm avoiding a game over. <laughs> Knock on wood. And I just, I just want to appreciate that, and, and just, because that feels good to not get a game over for once. I felt touched that Lance sent me a text first, which also makes me curious how, how the game over will be. Because last time, the first game over was Yuri just leaving. So I don't know if, maybe we just like, get really distant from Lance somehow? I don't know. We'll find out in the future. <laughs> Come to think of it, Lance didn't seem too keen, but he still did everything I wanted, I wanted to. Thanks to that, I no longer felt gloomy about Grandpa. Gratitude gushed inside me. I should reply. No problem. Let's go to Van Jewel together soon for that lemon tea. Yum. So sweet. I happily imagined going to Van Jewel with Lance and sent the text. Huh? A reply? Already? It was unlike him to, rep to respond so soon. All right, oh, yay! Oh wait, cannot have the mail thing not open. <laughs> Message was short and said, "All right." Ah, I feel so happy. I really should go to Banjul with him sometime soon. Oh right, since I bought new clothes, I have to take pictures. I felt excited and stood up with my smartphone. I write my diary later. First, I should take pictures. No. Grandpa! <laughs> wonder why my name is Percentas. <laughs> yes, Grandpa, I didn't cry. <laughs> Grandpa, I'm fine. I wasn't scared. You're going to find me anyways. Here, Grandpa, give me your hand. Let's go back. The house is empty. Funeral is over. Lance, it's really just you and me now. <laughs> just you and me in this huge house. But you won't die. Yeah, I'm good. I'll be fine. When I wake up tomorrow, you'll be here, right, Lance? No. So lonely. Uh, save. Memories that you cherish. Let's type a concept of a map step. 카페를 컨셉으로 넣어봅시다. 음. 커피도 잘 끓이는 설정이죠. 유리요? 유리는 섹시한 드러머. 이건 말안 해도 알죠? 음. 어, 연호는 모성을 자극해야 합니다. 귀여운 강아지 같은 느낌이 좋겠어요. 동물과 교감하는 것도 괜찮겠네요. 귀엽잖아요. 랜스는 컨셉 강하게 넣지 말고 출시하는 걸로 하죠. 주인이 마음대로 꾸며주면 되잖아요. 음. Interesting. You know, I'm just thinking about it now, how Red's, uh, 
doll line was just completely discontinued and he's the only one and that's just kind of sad to think about but i was like nah no one's no one's gonna love this doll we should just we should just can them all together <laughs> that's really depressing to think about also wizard <laughs> just notice that lance lance you okay buddy Oh, is that- was he, was he dreaming that? Oh, man. It's morning. I reach out for my smartphone, as always. Uh... We were texting. Oh, we were doing lots of texting. Alright, here we go. Your clothes look so good on you- on you today. I'm glad that you liked them. It's late. Go to bed soon. Okay, good night. Saw Yanho pouring salt on the eggs. Be careful when you're eating breakfast. Yeah, okay. Are you already at school? I'm on my discipline duties. Uh, where are you eating lunch? The cafeteria. The bread is all sewed out. Uh huh. Bought another piece of pizza bread. If you want, if you want, come to the roof. Aw. Hooray, I'll be right there. Hee <laughs> hee. Aw, it's so sweet. I've been texting with Lance a lot these days. I have zero texts today. It's 8 o'clock now, so Lance should already be at school as the discipline guide. In my smartphone are a bunch of pictures of boys in their new clothes. Uh, and new clothes we bought from the department store. <laughs> the smartphone thing is really useful. My old phone had crappy image quality. I should get up now. They should have made breakfast for me by now. Is it my turn to wash the dishes? <laughs> Look at that fancy limo. I almost stopped in front of the front door. The playground was full of people waiting for a hot five to arrive. As the boys got out of the car one by one, all the girls screamed. This happens every morning, but I still can't get used to it. Probably never get used to this. <coughs> I remember the first day we went to school together. I tried to escape as I was scared the other girls might attack, but Yuri forced me into the car. I still shiver when I think of that day. But thankfully, my worries didn't come true. Everyone was so busy looking at all these those cute boys that no one cared about me. But just to be sure, I should get off the car. I should get off the car last. Thankfully, I didn't become the, en the common enemy of all the girls. But it's still tiresome to go to school like this. Ah, <sighs> safe again. I looked towards the front gate and saw Lance. As usual, he was being the perfect discipline guide. Good luck. Today, text sent. <laughs> Gotten to enjoy texting with Lance a lot. Second period was over. Two more hours to go, and finally lunchtime. We have exams soon. For some reason, I feel gloomy. I haven't even studied that much. I feel trapped in the dark. Well, I guess I'll have to cram the night before. Next class is math. The most difficult class to stay awake in. But I'll have to try, since exams are coming soon. Oh, hey, Shimbi. Yeah? Shimbi suddenly poked me. Something funny? Looked at where Shimbi was pointing at. Girl was in front of Lance. What's going on? The girl looked at Lance with sad eyes. So he cut in and started to broadcast what's happening. I worried when Zoe mentioned the word freeze. I just hope what happened in the cafeteria doesn't repeat itself. <laughs> it's not as easy as it sounds. <laughs> Lance 
중요하니까 그런 겁니다. 그래서 이 부분에서는 이걸 활용해서 변환시킨 다음에야 적분이 쉬워지는 겁니다. 설마 기본 적분법도 모르지는 않겠죠? Of course. Yeah. What lands? It's good that you're teaching her, but she's about to cry. 듣고 있습니까? 기본 적분법까지 모른다면 어쩔 수 없군요. 2주 전에 진도로 돌아가겠습니다. 한 단원 앞을 보시죠. 여기 이 붉은 박스가 공식입니다. 그러니까 다시 처음부터 설명하자면 Somehow he does manage to explain everything. The girl looks like she's about to cry, but she does continue to nod. You can tell Lance is trying to be nice to her. And he didn't flat out ignore her, at least. <laughs> the two seem amused. I wondered if I should say it's funny too. Zoe's eyes sparkled. Oh, really? I mean, I guess so. Before, he would have just ignored her. What? What does that mean? <laughs> huh? So he looked at me and said, Oh, right. I am. <laughs> I forgot that. I didn't have much time to do, so I've been forgetting. Unless the school nurse asks for me, I really don't have anything to do. Oh boy. Why? Every time I hear Mr. Eugen is looking for me, I get nervous. I was thinking it's been a while since we've run into him. <laughs> I was right to feel nervous. A list of the living. Ugh. I have no idea why he makes me take care of weird stuff like that. No matter how hard I think, it seems to have nothing to do with a health commissioner. I'm sure he's abusing his authority. I want to cry. <laughs> Don't say stuff like that. If we fall in love, he might dissect me with a surgical knife of his. I have no intention of becoming second Beatrice. <laughs> Oh my god. What if Beatrice was a living human being before she became a skeleton model? Oh my god, is that- Oh my god. <laughs> I always thought she was fake. Is she real? <laughs> anyway, uh, you said that. I have no idea what our exams have to do with not having seen Hot Boys for a while, but... Alright. The bell rang at the, that moment. Huh. What does Mr. Eugen want me to do now? I see a huge pile of papers in front of me. What is this? No, I get that. Are you searching for a successor? The papers are filled with personal information. Picture, name, age, address, education, everything was written down. But they don't look like resumes. The papers all look like personal info sheets. Oh, and they are all women. He's not looking for a new school nurse, is he? Finally, the school is coming to its senses and searching for a new school nurse. Seeing all the pictures, I see the women are all quite beautiful. Ah, uh, finally, no more of his nightmare. <laughs> What? Your prospective wives? You? I was so surprised I pointed my finger at him. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, uh, sorry. I, I was just surprised. I thought you'd never be interested. But then why? Vicious people? Who are they? 
Threatening Mr. Eugen. They must be some strange people. Ugh. Fun step Mr. Eugen's shining eyes. Besides, how can the school just donate Beatrice? Isn't she yours? What? Mr. Eugen answered indifferently. Then Beatrice, she's not she's not she's not a school equipment, is she? <laughs> this is more shocking than Mr. Eugen looking for a prospective wife. I actually thought she was Mr. Eugen's personal possession since she since he always took her with him and scrubbed her day and night. I've never actually seen Beatrice in class. <laughs> I understand your situation, but how can I help with that? Oh, okay. But... School equipment getting mad. What? But... Still, I can't. Why me? <laughs> ignoring Miss, ignoring me, Mr. Eugen turned around to face Beatrice. Beatrice. <laughs> oh well, let's see the papers first. <laughs> Why couldn't you do that yourself? Mr. Eugen was very carefully in, uh, very careful in scrubbing Beatrice. He doesn't even look at me. I reluctantly skim through the papers one by one. Let's choose the one who seems to have the strongest mentality. I only thought of that. That's fantastic. Alright, we'll end the episode off there and head to Banjul next time. So I'll see you then. Bye!